fitness trackers have become popular in helping folks track their physical activity. But are you using them right? I love the direction that health and wellness is going, utilizing fitness trackers that can provide us data to get better information. Fitness tracker fan and founder of Own It, Justin Rothling Schofer, says if you want to use your tracker to maintain or reach fitness goals, you have to measure the right metrics. For starters, don't count on steps. Not all steps are created equal. So taking 10,000 steps while jogging is obviously better than taking 10,000 steps while walking. Measuring the quantity of our steps and not the intensity doesn't give us reliable data to measure our health progress. In order to maintain good health, adults need a minimum of 150 minutes per week of moderate intensity aerobic activity or 75 minutes per week of vigorous aerobic activity. So how do you know how your physical activity stacks up to that? We can actually get deeper into numbers is looking at the thing that we're trying to train, which is our heart. To get a look at your overall health and measure your progress along the way, the heart has it. Looking specifically at two numbers, which is heart rate, resting heart rate, and then heart rate variability. Resting heart rate and heart rate variability have a very synergistic relationship. The lower your resting heart rate, the higher your heart rate variability. Heart rate variability is the variations in time between each beat. Whether it's taking in some relaxing yoga or hitting some high intensity cardio, our HRV can tell us how well our body is responding to physical demands. You don't usually wanna just take your HRV at a given moment because it is such an individualized metric. The data your HRV provides aren't just numbers. If tracked consistently, the numbers tell a story. You wanna look at over the course of a day. Your HRV goes up and down on a day-to-day -day basis, which is why it's so important to measure it at the same time every day. You wanna look at the trend line day-to-day, -day, week to week, month to month, year to year, and you should be seeing an upward trajectory. Factors like sleep, diet, movement, hydration, and even mindset can impact our HRV score. Our daily score can indicate if we need to take it easy or if we need to step it up. We now have a metric that can provide us a better barometer to what our overall health and wellness is. Why would we not lean into it? Helping you stay on track with your fitness tracker.